Y'all, y'all, good evening. Good evening. It is a blessing to be once more again in Bible. Blessing time on a Wednesday night. Yes. Amen. February the 21st, 2024. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, life, health, and strength, and your love, your mercy, your peace, and your wonderful grace. In these times that we live in today, that you may be glorified through the body that has been baptized and risen by your Holy Spirit. And we give you the praise for a glorious and wonderful lesson to teach us how to be Christ-like in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Our lesson tonight is about a plea for Christ-like forgiveness. And the lesson text comes from Philemon chapter 1, mm -hmm. only chapter 1, verses 4 through 21. And our golden text comes from Ephesians, the fourth chapter, verse 32. It reads, Be ye kind one to another, and tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. Our lesson text outline is, number one, commendations of Philemon, verses 1 through, chapter 1, verses 4 through 7, and the second outline is compassion for Onesimus, chapter 1, verses 8 through 16. And the third outline is confidence of Paul, verses 17 through 21. And as we begin to read the scripture text, for our lesson, we see that the book of Philemon is a delightful letter from Paul to his friend Philemon. Uh, and this is where the church at Colossian would gather at Brother Philemon's home. And uh, one of his slaves, Onesimus, had ran away to Rome. Mm. Uh, Rome being the capital of Italy, Onesimus decided he would leave and go to a greater place so that he can make good for himself. But nevertheless, Paul, in his transformed life, understood Onesimus' journey. So that's why he wanted to send him back to his master, Philemon. But at the same time, he wrote this letter with compassion Amen. and love. He didn't write to Philemon telling him what to do. He wrote to Philemon telling him what was the right thing for him to do. And many times before we began to give individuals instructions on what they should do, we should really give them a very compassionate uh, idea or scenario mm -hmm. of how Christ would handle it. Right. For many, some years ago, we had a risk, a popular wristband going around saying, what would Jesus do? Mm -hmm. and, and, and now it's a TV show on what would you do <laughs> in a situation. So the whole overall idea tonight is a plea for Christ-like forgiveness is the time that we should think about doing what Christ would do in any given situation right. so that we will know how to be thankful for the Lord giving us another chance. 
So as Apostle Paul began to write this letter, and let it be understood that he wrote this letter with his own hand. He didn't let a scribe, in which he had a, a habit of letting a scribe write his letter, but he wanted to write this letter out of the love to his friend mm -hmm. because Onesimus had really won his heart in becoming a Christian. And verse 4 in the chapter, in this chapter of the only chapter in the book of Philemon, is he said, I thank my God, making mention of thee always in my prayers. We should have friends. We know that are friends. And we should always make mention as much as we can in our prayers. Amen. He says, hearing of thy love and faith which thou hast toward the Lord Jesus and toward all saints, that the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. For we have great joy and consolation in thy love, because the bowels of the saints are refreshed by thee, brother. Paul acknowledges Philemon as a brother in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. And that's why we use the terminology in our church gatherings, brother and sister, Amen. you know, so that we will be related in a scriptural way, in the way Jesus would have us to be related and understand how to approach one another in a Christ-like way. Because forgiveness, <coughs> forgiveness is a very powerful, powerful, powerful word for the sake of Jesus Christ forgiving us all. And here Paul saying that he hear, he's hearing about the love and the faith toward Jesus Christ from uh, Philemon, not for just himself, but toward all the saints. Mm -hmm. We should live the Lord in our homes, locked up, closed up. We should open those doors and get out to try to be the best we can a subject for the Lord, that the Lord might receive the glory and manifestation of our spirit to all those who would receive him because we should be in communication not by sight but by faith. Mm -hmm. See, he mentions Philemon's communication was by faith mm -hmm. because being a slave owner, I'm sure that he had a different faith, a much different faith, before he became a newborn child of God. And that's what made him very different from other slave owners is because of the fact he knew how important it was to treat people and to treat people like you want to be treated. If you say you're a child of God, you should do it in a child like a like God attitude. Amen. Be Christ-like in your forgiveness. Don't forgive someone and just go to bed and or wherever you are and just think about how you are trying to be forgiven. Just be forgiven and be forgiven in your spirit. First of all, forgive yourself. Mm -hmm. And then forgive those who you feel like you need to forgive. And then thank God for letting you have a mind to forgive. Amen. And then just keep on forgiving and you won't have to worry about whether you did the right thing or not. Amen. You'll know that you're doing the right thing because Jesus Christ forgave us of yes. all of our sins. Yes, he did. Yes, he, did. He, he, he paid a price no other person could pay. Amen. For he said we have great joy and consolation in that love. People need to see consolation when they see us. Right. Even if they don't admit it, they need to see love in us. Amen. They need to feel the power of the Spirit 
is resting in us because of Jesus, not because of what we are doing, not because we are so mighty, mm -hmm. not because we are so great, not because we are so popular, not because we are some type of uh, monarch or some type of ruler, but because Jesus is the ruler of our life. Amen. And because Jesus is the ruler of our life, we should show some signs Amen. that he is the ruler of our life. And not just by mouth, but by actions. Right. Amen. Amen. And the, the actions here tonight is talking about by the action of love. And that's something many people do not want to do because of how they have been treated. But when you are in Christ Jesus, you don't worry about how you've been treated. You know that how Christ put up with your ways and actions mm -hmm. and how you treated him and he forgave you. Amen. And uh, for we have a great joy and consolation in our love because the bowels here is our inner emotions. Our inner emotions ought to be real and not false. We ought to smile. We ought not smile in someone's face as a friend. And when they turn their backs, we are saying ugly things about them. Amen. We ought to be really true in our spirit. Amen. In our faith in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because we should be brothers and sisters in Christ. See, we ought not to be embarrassed to call one another. How you doing, brothers? How you doing, sister? Amen. 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 Second outline talks about the uh, compassion for Onesimus. Verses eight through verses eight through sixteen. For it reads, Wherefore, though I might be much bold in Christ, the apostle is saying, to enjoin thee that which is convenient. Yet for love's sake, I rather beseech thee, being such in one and one as Paul the age, and now also a prisoner of Jesus Christ. Wherefore though, verse 8, I might be much bold in Christ, not from a convenient level, not from, uh, oh, I just want to do this, but Apostle Paul is saying this because now he is old, and not old only, being approximately at that time 60 years old, mm -hmm. he was considered to be an old, old man. When I was a child, 50 was an old person. Mm -hmm. Now 50, you ask me how high to jump. How to jump. I'm asking how high you want me to jump. Mm -hmm. But now we see Paul is saying that at this age and at this time, I'm not asking you to do this because of it's a convenient thing to do. I'm asking you to do this because it's the right thing mm -hmm. to do. It, because Paul is old, that doesn't mean Paul can't serve Christ. We ought not to wait till we get old. Amen. We ought to serve him while we're young. Amen. Give God some praise while we can clap our hands, while we can run, while we can jump up and down. Amen. Give God praise when he gives you the victory yes. in an athletic or sports event, when he gives you the victory in a business event. Give God the praise yes. when he gives you success with a mind to think for yourself, to be successful on your own. Give God the praise when he helped you when you know you couldn't help yourself. Amen. Give him the praise. Amen. And he will. He said, I beseech you. Beseech you means I'm begging and pleading. In a sense, I'm pleading that for my son Onesimus. He's pleading for Onesimus because he learned that Onesimus was a runaway slave. He could have, been a Christian, he could have told, well, I'm glad man, you got away from that uh, slave on there now. Uh, although you're a Christian now, but you need to find, get somewhere and hide and go to work and, and don't do anything, but just stay out the way of that uh, master that you had. But no! He know that it was the wrong thing, number one, in those days for a slave to run away. And what would happen to a slave when they run away? Mm -hmm. They would have some real, real rude, some cruel punishment coming. And, 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 and Paul knew this, but Paul wanted Onesimus to do the right thing. And Paul is uh, writing this letter uh, because he wanted... Uh, uh, Philemon to understand that he is his son in the ministry now. He is a brother too. Okay, that's what he's saying. He's a brother too. And, 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 and I got him while I was a, 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 a prisoner in Jesus Christ. I'm not a prisoner of Rome. 
I'm a prisoner from my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You know, when we get locked down, we ought to know Jesus is our master. Amen. We ought to know that Jesus can release those bands. He can release those chains. Yes. He can break that chain that's yes. holding you down. Yes. When we are in trouble, we ought to know that Jesus is the only one who can get us out completely of the trouble, and we won't have to worry about it anymore. Mm -hmm. So we see that Apostle Paul has said, in verse 11, he said, which in time past was to the unprofitable and now profitable to thee and to me. See, Onesimus' name meant useless when he became a runaway slave. He didn't do anything for Philemon. He didn't do anything for Philemon. He just ran away. That made him useless to him because he could have taken something from him that he shouldn't have taken. But at the same time, Apostle Paul wanted him to know that whatever he took, I will give it back to you. Mm -hmm. Just receive him in, my, in, in, in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's name. Because we want him to not to be unprofitable, but we want him to be profitable. Mm -hmm. Amen. God wants us to be profitable, Amen. not just in the, the flesh. Mm -hmm. Not just in the works of the flesh, not just what we can do physically, but he wants us to be profitable in his spirit. Mm -hmm. He wants our spirit to be so powerful that people can feel the power of it, even though they may not admit it. Amen. And, and, and I'm willing to do that for the Lord, because whom I have sent again, thou therefore receive him. And that is my own vows out of his own internal being, out of his own internal emotions, out of his own internal compassion for Onesimus, he wanted Philemon to accept him as a brother. And, and, and I'm glad he picked, boy, he picked the right words to how to go about doing this. He didn't, he didn't tell Philemon to take him back and don't you do anything to him because he's a child of God now. Amen. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. Amen. And we must understand just because we are Christians that we are not just going to have a smooth and easy way of life. Amen. That means sometimes we've got to go through. Paul had a thorn in his flesh that he had the Lord to take away from him three times and God refused to do it. Mm -hmm. Why? Because sometimes God wants something that maybe is keeping us humble. Amen. Maybe that's keeping us from going the wrong way mm -hmm. to stay in the right way. Sometimes God won't move stumbling blocks. Amen. Sometimes God will leave stumbling blocks so we'll know how to pray to get over. Amen. Sometimes he won't move that mountain. Mm -hmm. He wants us to understand it takes strength to climb a mountain. Mm -hmm. And where are we going to get the strength from? From God. Amen. But we Amen. must rely on God. Amen. Amen. He said, whom I would have retained with me. Paul said, I would have kept him here with me, but I know it's the right thing to do. To send it back to you. Mm -hmm. That in my stead he might have ministered unto me in the bonds of the gospel. All right. Apostle Paul is saying that he's helping me real good. In other words, mm -hmm. I want to keep him, but I can't keep him because I know what he needs to be doing. Mm -hmm. Don't you know it's something to give up something that you love? For Jesus Christ. Amen. See, the rich young ruler came to Jesus and he wanted to know what he could do to get into the kingdom of God. In the kingdom of God, he said, either sell all what you have. Sell out. See, some people don't want to sell out. Right. You see, I preach you a preacher sermon once. If you're going out of business, take your sign down. Right. If you're going out of business for Jesus Christ, you need to sell out those old ways. Oh man, 1 Corinthians 5 17 said, If any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. What old things have passed away, behold, all things become new. Now, don't you know that when something is so good, just look, friends. I enjoyed those things when I was in the world. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do those things when I was in the world. Mm -hmm. I dressed up to do those things when I was in the world. Now, I want to dress up for Jesus. Amen. And I want to look good for Jesus. Yes. Not just with clothes on, friend. Yes. Not 
just me pretty worries of being very articulated, which I'm so far off from. I want to be what Jesus wants me to be with every bit of little strength I have, and I want him to add to that strength. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. But as he said, but without my, without thy mind, but without thy mind would I do nothing. Without thy mind. Would I do nothing, listen to him now, that my benefit should not be as it were of necessity, but willingly. Mm -hmm. Apostle Paul here saying, now, I want it to be willingly. I want it to be not something I, I, I can't do, I don't want to do, and I'm not going to do. I want it to be so that God will get the glory out of my willingness of Christ-like forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Out of my willingness to be. You see, some people won't be Christ-like until they be pressured to be Christ-like. Right. Some people will say, oh yeah, I, I love the Lord, just let me go. Uh -huh. Amen. That other thief on the cross, he would just want to come down. Yeah. But that other thief said, oh, no, wait, hold up, hold up, buddy. Now, we did some robbing. We, we guilty. Uh -huh. We guilty. We, we know what we did wrong. Uh -huh. But this man in the middle right here, he didn't do uh -huh. nothing. He didn't ask to come down again. He just wanted to go up a little high. Yeah, yeah. He said, when you go in your kingdom, remember, remember me. me. Ah. And don't you know when you take up the cross of Jesus Christ, he will remember you? For yes, verse 15, perhaps he therefore departed for a season that thou shouldest receive him, amen, forever. Yeah. Now, God knows how to bring us home, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Listen, listen, listen. Onesimus had to run away to get saved. Mm. He had to leave his slave. He, he, he left for one reason. Mm -hmm. But God taught him in that net for the other reason. Mm -hmm. That is to be saved. Where was I when he saved me? My right. back was up against the wall. I'm going to tell you where I was. Mm -hmm. I couldn't come off. All right. now, I couldn't come off. I needed help to get off that wall. You don't need to know what that wall was. Yeah, yeah. But I needed help. Yeah. And guess what? When I fell on my knees on that wall, yeah. I didn't call on mother. Uh -huh. I didn't call on father. Uh -huh. I called on the Lord. Yeah. And the Lord picked me up yeah. and he turned me around. Yeah. And, and I know Onesimus had to do that. Onesimus had to do that because he was willing to recall. He could have told the first father, I'm not going back. I know I might be saved, but I'm not going back to no slave. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, I'm staying right here with you now. If you don't want me to stay with you, Apostle Paul, that's okay, but I'm going to stay with somebody else. No, no, no. Onesimus went on and took heed to what Apostle Paul was saying because he was saved by the power of Jesus Christ. And he knew if he go back to his slave owner, he, he said, oh, man. I, that's why I said, I'm going to see my king. I, though I may die, I'm still going to see a I'm, I'm, I'm going, you know what, when I'm going to see my king, it doesn't make any difference what's going to happen to me. Because I know being with him is going to be eternal heaven. Amen. 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 For perhaps he therefore departed for a season, and thou shouldest receive him forever. Not now as a servant, but above a servant, a brother beloved, especially to me. But now, but how much more unto thee? Both in the flesh and in, in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Onesimus now is more than just a servant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He is a servant brother. Because now he is a changed man. If thou count, verse 17, if thou count me therefore a partner, receive him as myself. Right. Oh, Pastor Paul was some kind of a powerful. <laughs> Pastor Paul was some kind of born again Christian. You know, when God knocked him down off that beast, he was going to crucify Christian on Damascus Road. Mm -hmm. Don't you know that was the best knockdown Paul could ever get? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you tonight, the best knockdown I ever had is when he got to my attention, when he got the reins of my mind mm -hmm. to understand me. You can't kick against me, Lord. You can't win. Right. You know, when, when, you, when you get to the point that you are fighting a battle and you're trying to win and get out of it, and you see that you are fighting a losing battle, yeah. just call on the Lord. Yes, yes. Don't let them happen. You don't have to be knocked down unless you got just want to be knocked down, but God will knock you down. Yes, he will. Amen. If he had thrown thee, owe thee, or owe thee all, put that on my account. Locked up in jail. Mm. 
and got an account. Who do you know right now? You know, yeah, you got some out there locked up in prison, locked up in jail, got all kind of money. But at the same time, the Apostle Paul is saying here, whatever he owe you, I'll pay you. Mm -hmm. And don't you know we need to have that same frame of mind if we're going to plead Christ-like forgiveness, if we are going to give Christ-like forgiveness, if we are going to be like Christ. Mm -hmm. Confidence of Paul. We don't have much time on that. Verse 17 from 21 reads, though, if thou count me therefore a partner, Receive him as myself. Mm -hmm. If he has wronged thee or, or owed thee all, put that on my account. I, Paul, have written it with my own hand. I will repay it, albeit, albeit, even though, although, although he's saying, I do not say to thee how thou ownest unto me. Even thine own self besides. What is he saying here? Now, Philemon, you know I'm the one who brought you to Christ. Mm -hmm. He's not making up. He's not making it, uh, Philemon feel like he owe him something. Mm -hmm. He makes Philemon feel like, I owe you if my friend Onesimus got taken something from you. Right. Amen. What a great man. Yet, brother, let me have joy in thee in the Lord. Refresh my vow, refresh my emotion, refresh my love in the law. Amen. Having confidence in thy obedience, I wrote thee, I wrote unto thee, knowing that thou wilt also do more than I say. Now, my last words to you tonight. We don't know exactly what happened to Onesimus. We don't know whether uh, Philemon took him back and treated him just like Paul said. We don't know that for a fact, mm -hmm. but this is what we need to know. This book, this one chapter of Philemon, probably wouldn't have been in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Probably wouldn't have been canonized in the Bible mm -hmm. if something good had happened to Onesimus. Right. So obviously, when you work for God, yes. it won't pay off after a while. Right. It'll pay off right now. Right. So you don't wait to have to get back to wherever you was you were. Yes, love the Lord wherever you are. Amen. And know that God is all you need. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord, Thank you. for another glorious Christ-like message you, that we may tell a dying, a dying and a sin, sick and a crap in disobedient world. A world filled with sinners. Lord, but it is filled with your grace. And your grace is sufficient for every sin, sick, sinner. Lord, bless them right now, wherever they are. Let them know that if they do not have you, they are locked up in prison. Yeah. And Lord, the only way out of a spiritual prison is through trusting in you. In Jesus' name, Jesus. amen. amen.